Hey YouTube, how the heck you doing? It's Fink here, and you know what? We're gonna show you little tips and tricks on how to farm the keys on the Skywatch. This is your you come here for one of the bounties for the Queen. Now, if you don't know what the keys are, there's something that you can acquire to unlock treasures for the next DLC for the House of Wolves. So what you're gonna have to do is, as you can tell, I'm just standing on the rock, just chilling. You know, I'm just standing here, and there's really nothing to do but wait because they're just like events. Now, you're going to see this blue ship drop down, and you're going to want to haul ass over there because there's uh, two Scorch Knights here, and usually you want to try to go ahead and get one of these cannons that they carry, but uh, as you can tell here, I got murked, and I'm going to get murked quite a bit because we're in Splash Central. This is one of the spots that it can spawn in. It can also spawn in on the other side next to the hive cedar. Now there's about three or four waves of these ships that spawn in before it will spawn in the servitor which you'll, which is the main enemy you have to eliminate even for the bounty. Now a quick uh, tip here is the chest locations will spawn on top of the building on top of the hill now they will spawn behind the middle building and it will also spawn next to the truck that's next to the middle building with the trailer on it and by the entrance to the sky watch behind the fence now in this video I happened to have it spawn right next to the fence so I was able to optimize my farming capabilities of this now as you can tell we're going to go ahead and try to kill everything here and as you can tell these new uh, ninja vandals and knights are just ridiculous it, they are hard to see they're very hard to see now we're coming close to it's not this round but i believe the next that the mass servitor will spawn in and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and eliminate it now as soon as you eliminate it you have a time frame you have about a minute and 10 or a minute and 20 seconds which will be um an ether key I believe um, and this will allow you to unlock the chest now if you don't participate you that's what you don't have to worry about if you have someone who doesn't participate and they just sit back and don't do anything then they can't get in the chest now as you can tell I'm looking for it and I see it behind the uh, fence here now what you're going to, want to do if it's by the fence or any of the three that are not on top of the building you want to come down here you want to drive through the hall hit the end of the hallway and just turn around and continue just to keep jumping back over the fence and grabbing the chest so um, if it does happen to spawn next to the uh, fence there I mean that's the optimal uh, the most optimal spot for it to spawn and as you can tell I could probably got a lot more runs in but we kind of had a cluster of uh, blueberries and uh, my guys running back and forth and so far this has worked um, I've been able to get at least 8 to 10 keys from this and just Skywatch, Skywatch is the best place to do it there is no other better place because the travel time is just too far now guys if this was helpful in any way make sure you leave a like down below if you have any questions make sure you comment and hopefully you subscribe if you're new. I know that I didn't get any keys off the video, but like I said, it was more for instructional purposes and I want to make sure that everybody understood and knew how to uh, collect all these keys.